Hey, Rob here. I just want to offer and shoot up prayer for a young girl, I believe the age of approximately 13, tonsils removed, in a coma. I believe God is the God of miracles, friends. As a minister of the gospel, I came on here. I want you to join with me and pray for a supernatural resurrection that God will release this girl from this coma, uh, that heaven will invade her life, the power and presence of the Holy Spirit will wake her up. So join with me as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I loose angelic hosts around that young girl in that hospital bed. Lord, I believe you gave me the burden to do this video, and I believe you're going to answer my prayer and the prayer of thousands via YouTube. Father, we loose your presence, your power, your resurrection power, that same power that rose and raised Jesus Christ from the dead, from the grave. If Jesus resurrected, this young girl, Jahi, we, we command you in the name of Jesus, wake up, we decree, and we declare your brain to function the way God created it. We declare your body to, uh, to just uh, come into alignment with the Word of God, that your destiny and your inheritance and your best days are ahead. And, you know, the judge has given the girl, mother thir until December 30th, and, uh, hey, God's the judge of the earth. He gives the final answer. God can do anything, and we just have to take our place of authority on the earth. And, by the way, desire to subscribe to my ministry channel by YouTube. Never forget, God loves that young girl. God loves that family. God loves you, friends. I'll leave you with the famous scripture in the Bible, John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son that if you would believe, receive, surrender, and submit your life to Jesus Christ, you would not perish. You'd have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires no one to perish. He wants us all to have the insurance that when we all do take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven our home. And desire to recite this simple prayer. Invite Christ into your heart. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Never forget God cares for you. He's got a plan for your life, a purpose, a destiny, an inheritance. Your best days are ahead. Whether we live to be 8 or 108, if you've got Christ in your heart, heaven is real. It's a place we'll spend eternity with God. The opposite, Jesus taught about a place called hell in the Bible. Is there fire there? Absolutely. Demons, devils, yes, you don't want to go there. Trust in Christ for your salvation today. Be blessed, friends. The Lord bless you.